been an absolute roller coaster of emotion for second year cornerback home closer Cameron Dantzler. He finished 2020 as the best rookie cornerback with a strong finish to the season, uh, but then he was demoted, he was benched, and he was a healthy scratch week one against the Bengals and was even part of some trade rumors. But now that the Vikings are in desperate need for some quality cornerback play due to injuries as well as performance, Dantzler may be thrust back into the spotlight week three against a team that frankly destroyed him just just a little bit last season week five at seattle dancer did not have a good day he was targeted 12 times by russ eight catches for 97 yards two touchdowns including the game winner as well as a 130.9 quarterback rating when thrown at which is not carry the one it's not good not great. Uh, also, yeah, the Vikings could have got a yard with Alexander Madison or a- Adam Thielen on that third and four reverse, or they could have kicked the field goal, gone up eight, but I respect Zimmer going for it and trying to end the game right there. And then Russ had to go 13 plays, 94 yards to get the game-winning score, uh, but Dantzler gave up the 39 yards to DK on 4th and 10. Also, he didn't cover DK at the mesh on 4th and 6 for the game-winning touchdown, prompting Harrison to ask, hey, do you like pumpkin pie? But the Vikings need Dantzler at his best against DK and deep threat Tyler Lockett as they descend upon U.S. Bank Stadium on Sunday because the cornerback room is pretty dinged up, man. Patrick Peterson was limited with a toe, but he'll be fine. Bashad Breeland on the injury report with back, shoulder being bad issues. Remember, he uh, was a walk-off in both of the Cincinnati and Arizona games. Boyd got dinged up on special teams against the Cardinals, and Harrison Hand is down with a hamstring. He missed the Cardinals game and is on the COVID list. But other than that, he's, he's good to go. And then Dancer may start Sunday by default, man. And I, I love the kid. I, I think that he has got talent and potential for days. I think that he could ascend to be a Pro Bowl uh, type cornerback. And maybe he got a little over his skis in the offseason, but the demotion had to be humbling. It had to be motivating. Puts that chip firmly on his shoulder. And now he can cement his place at the table with the Vikings with a statement game against the team and the players that tore him up last year. Stick the needle in your eye. DK, you're going down. Lock it. You're going to be contained. 27, the needle. He's back, babe. Woo! Love it, man. Uh, but your thoughts and our thoughts. Can we tie and dance a redemption song uh, this week, Sunday, versus the Seahawks? Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support that work? Pull a little something to Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.